one small step for a man, one giant leap. Hold the jokes, team. We got a lot of work to do here. Hey guys, Eli here. Welcome back to my world. We have the opportunity to play the crust again. So this is the third time when we are doing uh, a series on this very nice game. And the previous two, uh, we cover some demo that was limited. We have limited time and so on, so on, so on. Now we are not limited anymore this is the game and it's a beta testing so i'm a beta tester i receive a key so thank you very much for this opportunity uh it's so exciting and not being limited we can play a lot or more we can discover more we need to test a couple of things in the game and for that i will uh, choose to go by through the tutorial not the storyline not the sandbox on the sandbox if you start the game you will just choose uh, on what difficulty you want to play and you will just jump on a empty base and you will start to, to play with it it has a couple of uh, difficulty levels uh, five or something like this the storyline you just jump on the storyline without the tutorial, the first little part. But I will go to the tutorial and this will move smoothly into the storyline. Why I'm going through this the third time? Well, because they changed a couple of things. Okay, now they have better um, uh, cinematics. Uh, the voice is not uh, auto-generated. So now they are they have acting and so on and i really want to test everything okay even the new cutscenes because i saw a couple of changes and together let's have fun with this game that will arrive on early stage on 15 july so if you like this just go on steam put it on um, with, uh, wish list and uh, in a few days you can play it by yourself no more let's just jump in the game I love this uh, space elevator, it's so nicely done. And even that racket can be very green on and ecological. Don't need to pollute. Lovely view. The cross. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is another type of vessel that uh, is doing the transport uh, between Earth and the um, Moon station, the crash point, New Hope Logistic Hub. And here we can see another pod that are landing pod for the Moon. So each vessel has some specific uh, functionality. I hope we'll see more uh, vessels and um, you know, ground air. Watch yourself out there. Lunar night is coming. 
this probably is still just Stand food. Tranquilitatis Logistics to incoming transition. Please state your intentions. Over. Alice to MT Logistics. We have received clearance and hold a signed contract with Mr. Halloway for our mining operations in this designated sector. We're here to commence our activities as scheduled. Over. The MT Logistics really to good. Alice. We weren't informed of your early arrival. We've just finished building the elevator for your drones to access the underground facilities. At the moment, all the electricity is being used to charge the batteries as we prepare for night. We can't route power to the elevator right now. I suggest you keep your mining buddies in orbit for the next two weeks while we wait for the sun to come up, sweetheart. We made it here right on schedule, but waiting for the next morning on the moon? A whole two weeks of downtime? Is utterly unacceptable. This could jeopardize our entire mining contract. We need a better plan. And the name's Alice. Not sweetheart. Badass. Not sweetheart. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, definitely the sound, the voices are way better now. They're not so mechanic, so it's way, way, way better. So now we can take a look on on the base uh, and uh, is as before. But we have a little more details on the building now. The these uh, factories are colored by the ore they are processing, so that's a nice uh, thing. There and the rest, uh, well, probably few of them. I don't remember exactly how they were design but i know that there were some buildings that were not complete uh, the, uh, the conveyor belts were not connecting properly to, to them but yeah that's nice this is very very nice oh and the zoom the zoom is way stronger i mean i was unable to see the entire valley now we can see it on one zoom great so now let's see with the tutorial now uh we have this uh let's check uh don't click on dialog process character dialog will not stop and one required to click for the player to continue this is new so the tutorial will stop uh only and will wait for me to click interesting so we can have these pauses and to discuss and to uh, to give my opinion and so on but uh, on this uh, first episode i want to finish the tutorial i want to start uh, the base so let's not uh, waste too much time when something important i will uh, will stop and i will do it good afternoon director this is alice your vice president we have a bit of a situation here but i'm already on it first let's test our connection give this dialog box a click if you're hearing me loud and clear then we can proceed Love Connection you. solid. That's a start. Give me a few minutes to secure our landing clearance. Feel free to soak in the sights while you wait. I'm sure you have a great view of the moon from your orbital station. Okay, so this uh, cargo truck has uh, still has some little problem with levitation. And uh, oh, okay, I can hack you. So don't go there anymore okay that's nice we have an animation in here and this is available for everything what's this oh this is the exit point and now we have meteorite on the map that we can salvage for minerals oh that's nice so that means from time to time we will have some drops uh how is the music so let me check a little bit the music i think it's uh too strong maybe comparing with the with the game and so on okay let's try it like that good so let's continue we hacked the track so robert do we have a deal uh 
Okay, so now I will unlock this for the moment. Let me be clear. A two-week power outage equals job loss and a costly lawsuit for me. I don't care who you are, get Halloway on this. But no power for you and your toys until sunrise. We just don't have extra electricity right now. Look, Robert, you and I got off on the wrong foot. Our drones were originally designed for autonomous construction and repair. And we've brought the necessary resources. Grant us landing permission, and we'll handle the power situation ourselves. Okay, this is nice. I think this is new. They were not having this uh, animation. And they were not moving. Even big ones are moving now. The sound is very, very loud. It's very, very loud when you're getting close. Even if I reduce the game sound, it's, something is not uh, working with the sound, but uh, yeah. Again, this will go on on uh, alpha stage, so will be early access. I mean, alpha is not alpha, it's already on beta, but uh, uh, will be an early access. Uh, things will still on will change. Uh, they will work on different aspects and so on. So yeah, that's what I was trying to point. Ah, see, uh, the the conveyor is not connected uh, with this uh, generator. Right, right. This benefits both of us. More solar panels for you, and we could land our toys and get going. They also can handle the repairs. So, should I, I update Mr. Holloway on our successful collaboration? Expedition. All right, Alice. You have permission to land. Robert, don't have Make any. sure your fancy drones okay. don't break anything. Over and out. Director, it's your call. Permission to land has been granted. Show Yay. this Bob the Builder that we can fix this. The Builder. Bob the Builder. Choose a place to land the pods near the elevator. Nice. To do this, click on the notification on the left side of the screen and select an appropriate location. Director, your primary responsibility is to ensure resource extraction and processing in our logistics hub on the Sea of Tranquility. Currently, it depends on external supplies. If you can address this issue, even partially, rest assured, we'll secure long-term contracts for you in the years to come. I personally vouched for your mission to the board. I'd hate to send you home with nothing. Better help me convince these old timers that you are a promising team and your work is the future. Absolutely, Mr. Holloway. Both the director and I are immensely grateful to you. Our focus is on establishing a long-term partnership and we'll do our utmost to make it a reality. You can count on us. To get started, select the required modules on the construction panel. Director, place the holograms of solar panels on the highlighted sites. Our drones will pick up necessary resources and begin construction. Perfect, we are starting. So by pressing shift, you can place multiple uh, buildings. I think you, I can even drag and uh, they will work. Okay, we can speed up this process to build the solar panels. Ooh, they have, they have an animation now. So the drones will construct the solar panel and then the solar panel will just deploy oh this is so nice and they will move to the direction of the sun that's nice I uh, okay one two three will control the speed so that's nice would you look at that they've yeah. actually built them not a bad start at all Alice, can you hear me? Your drones did a good job. Faster than I expected. All the energy from these panels will go to you. But if you want to work at night, you need to take care of saving it now. For this, you're going to need some batteries. Well, thank you for your unwavering faith in our abilities, Robert. And I hope we've convinced you that we know what we're doing. And now our suddenly efficient drones will be busy building batteries. Director, he's absolutely right. A night on the moon is almost 14 and a half Earth days without the sun, and we do need batteries. Build four of them next to the solar panels. Alright, so let's do them. 14 and a half. Okay. Let's make them like this. 
and here I need the charging station so let's build the charging station because the drones they will need power and fast forward please let's see if this has an animation no they are just constructed by the drones and that's it and you same here well your drones really know how to build now use the wiring tool and connect the solar panels and batteries next you just need to power up the elevator and you'll gain access to the underground level switch to the utilities mode and i cut her sentence okay so yeah probably was saying that uh, i need to connect connect the elevator to the network and that okay and connect the modules with wires uh well i can do it as this Perfect. and you can go now that everything is up and running let's get down to business switch to the underground level by pressing tab sure let's go but Great. this is the second part to of start the mining build the drone configuration game. module the elevator transfers power from the surface to the underground level no need to worry about that. So in in the last run, we discover that we can split the factory in two, and some part to be constructed in the underground, and another part to be constructed up. We have we'll have human population population so we have scientists and engineers and so on and it would be better to have them underground underground and on the surface of the moon to have as they already suggest for us the the factory and all the buildings good so i will connect the power to the grid I think I like to connect with that thing. It was dark. Now before. wire it to the elevator to yes. power the module. Ooh, they have an animation when you Hardly remain without power. But how are you going to extract lunar regolith with cargo robots? I'm far from a robotics Look expert, of course. So nice. But it seems like we have more questions than answers at this point. That's an excellent question, Robert, and I'd be delighted to answer it. However, I need to wrap up some things first. The drone reconfiguration module allows up to five drones to be converted into mining drones and vice versa. Okay. Convert four drones. Okay, let's follow the tutorial. Now let's have the drones excavate oh, this is an way area faster. measuring 50 standard units. In the meantime, I'll have a chat with our curious Bob. Okay, okay, okay. So let's uh, let's mine. Let's mine this area. To order the drones to start the evacuation, you need to use the highlighting tool and mark areas for digging. The mining drones will do the rest. Robert, okay. to answer your question, our company has been providing repair and maintenance services for robotics and mining equipment for over 10 years. We were involved in the development and maintenance of technology for lunar mining along with the first industrial expeditions to the moon, even before the construction of the space elevator and the full-scale development of the moon by mankind. And I'm pleased to inform you, Robert, that by pooling our vast experience, we have been able to develop and implement multifunctional drone technology that can be re-equipped for a variety of tasks. Did I answer your question in enough detail, or should I send you a set of materials for review? I can throw in a set of coloring books, especially for you, so you can quietly make your downtime in the workplace more enjoyable. All right, Alice, I get the uh, hint. Funny. You do your job, and I'll mind my own business. By the way, I'll grab a few coloring books as souvenirs for the kids. I'll be heading home in about two weeks. I just want to point, uh, when you are mining the underground, you can see these colors. So... Uh, I try to select this entire area without stopping so this one receive this color okay so they will um, they will mine 
everything with a priority from red to green so now they will focus on on this one then we'll continue with this uh, orange and until they will reach the the green one and that's very nice um i think you need to understand that and you will use it in your let's say advantage when you're building the the base so let's continue director i understand that i can be difficult at times but your alice is quite remarkable she Absolutely. reminds me of my ex-wife we're all still on the same channel robert so uh what's up with those coloring books i'll send them to your wife along with some flowers she's not likely to get them from her husband okay so now the tutorial is completed uh director you have successfully complete the training and can continue the story campaign or go to the main menu and choose another mode so i can go to the main menu and to choose the sandbox and then we can choose the difficulty and so on but i will continue with the campaign it's very nice and i really want to see what they change and how they did it uh, okay, seek a balance between survival and exploration, experiment with different strategies and led our company to success. We are choosing, uh, we are counting on it. Perfect. So continue campaign. So this will jump on a cutscene and we'll see what they change and how they go. If you are still here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe because the more likes i have on this series the more episodes i will make maybe i can make one two three episodes per day depend on your activity so let's have fun wait wait we're getting distress signals from everywhere director I think they improve even the the video quality. Yeah, this part I don't think was previously. Very very nice. So it's very nice when you see some improvements on the game. This is an emergency broadcast. We have detected an imminent asteroid collision with the moon's surface. We are currently assessing the extent of the damage and the number of casualties. At this moment, our teams are working tirelessly to restore communication with lunar outposts. For those still on the moon, be aware that we are mobilizing all available resources to assist you. Conserve your energy and ration your supplies until further notice. Additional information will be provided as the situation unfolds. Stay tuned for updates. Over and out. I repeat, Crust has declared a state of emergency of the first degree. Commercial shipments and cargo landings are prohibited. All complexes, resources, and facilities on the moon are now under crust control. All remaining facilities should switch to emergency frequency and report their status. Conserve energy and resources and await further instructions. Nice. So, with a big boom, here we go again. Tranquility is under dark and we need to rebuild everything. It seems this I don't know, cutscene or uh, it worked even on phones, so that's good. Now, how can we start? It's very important now to move very fast, especially for the first night. Where are we trying to build solar batteries in the day and to have some reserve on the night? Oh, go away. What's happening? Director, can you hear me? We're receiving reports that a meteorite collided with the moon and the state of emergency has been declared. Okay, so now if I pause, this is pause too. But before, because I was already in pause, uh, this 
Hmm. Voice acting was moving on. Interesting. Director, confirm you're on the line right now. Right. I'm here. I'm here. So let let's let's test again. You could have done it more quickly and spared me All the right. worry. Director, there's still no signal from the personnel of the base. I'll try again, but my hope is dwindling. So if I press pause before clicking everything it's paused even to have time to read this anyway yeah that's not really really important robert come in robert do you copy robert damn it come in no robert is offline man yeah robert the uh, worker it's uh there appear to be no survivors I'm glad you were on the orbital station when the collision happened. I suggest you stay there as long as possible. I have 12 drones. And look at these, we have multiple drone types. We should try to hold out until logistics with Earth are restored. Start with electricity. We still have resources and functional drones. That should be enough for a few solar panels and batteries. Okay, perfect. We have our first mission. That's lovely. And let's start with power. Uh, regarding power, now we have only the small solar panels. Okay, the sound in the record is good in my ears, but it's a little too loud. So now it's okay. The solar, small solar panel will generate 30 energy. So that's let's say the consumption that we need in the day and in the night to make it equal i need three batteries for each uh, solar uh, or small solar panel but in the day i don't want to consume 30 of the 30 generated i just want for the solars to generate double to make power even for batteries so that means uh, one of these, in fact, will be for one and half for these uh, batteries. Uh, so like this. So in fact, the batteries will generate the capacity of my network and the solars will just generate more power to fill the batteries. So let's try to make uh, a grid, uh, maybe as this. Um, not sure. So let's start it. Yeah, let's start it from here. Judging by the seismic activity, the okay. meteorite impact occurred on the far right. side of the moon. Yeah. We're lucky it happened so far away from our mission, but the strength of the blast wave raises a lot of questions. So I will need to build them as this, probably. So make them as these in here. And I will need to increase this even more. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, this is bigger distance. So, uh, oof, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, it's not so important just to have a perfect grid. Make it, we can, uh, we can do it uh, as this. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, three of these. Okay, so let's see. Delete. And delete. That's nice. I'm not sure if that was in the previous run. Uh, maybe it's something new. Maybe. So, one of these. And another one, two, three. But we need to build five solar panels and five of this. Okay. So if this is the case, maybe we can uh, we can do it uh, uh, otherwise. Okay. So let's see. If I will make it similar with these ones, maybe I can make them as this. Yeah, just. Just give me one second. This will not be the entire game like this. So uh, stay, 
think here. I will not do it as this all the time. So three, six. Yeah, something like this maybe. And here I will make one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. So let's make it as this. And I will charge them as this. Perfect. And you can go as this one. And we can continue from here. So they will they request from us five to five. I will, I build them six by six. So it's it's good. Let's start building them. And I will need even a charging station. And the charging station will be in here. Okay, let's do it as this. Perfect lovely right how about now to just push is that all more? the head of the research department can say somewhere far away there was an explosion and we don't know the cause yeah that's good well, let's say, let them go. I'm working with proven facts not speculating on fragmentary evidence much more data would be needed to reach the conclusions we, we need to rebuild it on this one. After. And uh, how about research? No, we don't have research for the moment. So we are in the story uh, line and we we'll enjoy that. Also, this for the small panels. So probably even the biggest panel they were having the animation before. I'm not sure. There are a couple of things that I don't remember from all previous runs. So maybe I will go there and watch it again. See if it was or not. We have electricity, but our resource reserves are almost depleted. We need to restore production as soon as possible. Absolutely. Let's start with repairing the elevator to gain access to the underground level. Then Absolutely. build a charging station for the drones. Make sure that elevator and charging station are connected to the power network. They will be in very few seconds. So let's fast forward. I can control this again with the one, two, three on my keyboard. Director, we're getting word of supply shortages from almost everywhere on Earth. The explosion cut off most of the supply channels from the moon. Millions of people are in need of resources, and we can satisfy that demand. Supplies used to run through the contract system, but it came to a complete halt after the explosion. We might be able to fix that. Okay, got it. So, small problems on translation? That probably will be fixed. The explosion destroyed everything on the surface, but there may still be mining modules underground. We need to go down and see what we have left. So now we are generating power for all of these. Uh, for the moment only with 15, but uh, they were not generating 30 yeah 30 so this probably will increase yes it will increase great tab director we need to reconnect the these. power supply to the underground level connect the elevator and electrical pole with wires so we can see the scale of the damages absolutely and uh, just pay attention on the on the lights in here because they will flicker and they will start on. It will be so, it, it, it's so nice, this animation is so That's nice. That's better. I see that we have a module to produce smart concrete, but we have an urgent need to resume production of steel and silicone. Director, nice. I have an idea. First, convert five drones into miners, and we'll proceed. Okay, the drone reconfiguration module allows up to five drones to be converted into mining drones and vice versa. Okay, it was both. I was wondering why they are not starting. But it was both. Okay, 13,000. What do we have in here? So I can mine this part for a moment. Perfect. Then mine this. Okay. 
and I want for these drones to work continuously. They will they don't need to stop. They need to have lots of lots of work just to make everything in here. Okay, that's perfect, that's perfect. We'll mine a lot of this area. A huge area. Perfect. And the last one, in fact this is not the last one, it will be another level. Okay, and if I need something I can use the hot one. So the next one, the last one, let's make it as this probably. And we'll try to find some other minerals as, uh, as water. Or other veins and uh, water because ice is not necessary. Uh, mineral. Oh, that was not straight, but doesn't matter. And we will mine everything around. So can do it like this. No problem. Great job, great job. Anyway, let's focus back on this. Uh, we have okay. smelting furnaces, but to start producing any resource, the relevant oxides are always needed. We will now mine them with the mining drones. Director, we have access to iron and silicone veins. Assign drones to mine the resources from the veins to supply the processing modules with raw materials. Okay, so I need to enter add excavation. And, and assign mining drones to mine resources directly from a vein. Perfect. Uh, you can now watch mm, mining mm, drones mm, extract the oxides, and working drones deliver them to the smelting furnace. Yes, that's very very good. So we have, do we have any drones that are on um, standby? Done. Uh, two. Okay, two are good. Okay, right. Produce steel, produce silicon. So maybe we need to increase the production on, on silicon. So let's see now. We have an output capacity of 60. So that's good. And we generate 138. Maximum consumption 41. Balance 97 with plus right after we consume 41 and we consume 31 in fact not uh, a shortage 10 why it's saying that we have a shortage of 10 so we have maximum consumption 41 consume 41 shortage okay so that not it's not shortage it's uh, is the difference between consumes and max consumption it's uh it's like a buffer it's not necessary yeah okay okay all right so now we need to produce silicone uh, maybe we need to increase how many drones are in there not sure but I really want to have everything on research. So move faster, please. Oh, add another one here. Right. So now we have two, three drones that are mining in there. We have silicone, we have batteries so now i hope they fix the repair the maintenance the last run the maintenance was activated roughly at uh, 50 percent so when this was dropping 50 percent you need to repair the building and it was something like i'm not really nice you when you build many buildings, similar buildings like these uh, batteries or solar panels, 
they will get uh, destroyed or they were needing maintenance in the same time and that was not really, really nice so we need three more of these come on guys just do it because then we will start to we start to make conveyors and automate Director. You can never have too much smart concrete, so it's worth spending time to produce it. For this purpose, we have a pressing module, which may not be the most efficient way, but it's good enough it. to start with. The pressing module requires only regolith, which is a type of lunar dirt plentiful here. Assign mining drones to the evacuation so that we have the resources we need. Free drones will deliver the regolith to production themselves. Uh, Director, what? here's the latest news regarding contracts. To resume shipments to Earth, we'll need to restore communication and significantly expand production. If we manage this in the near term, I'll negotiate an extremely lucrative contract with the aerospace company FASM. They've lost their supplier and are willing to pay generously for an urgent order. I'm still hey, looking into the matter, but be prepared to devote all resources to this effort if you want to maximize the benefits. I'll return as soon as new information becomes available. Okay. I will do it. So let's see. Produce more concrete. Uh, okay. Working problem. I saw something here. Conversity. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I, I, I can see the location of the conversity. Drone setting. Okay. That I know the, the setting. Drop resources and conveyors, drones, resource type. Okay, so this is already on regular. All good there. Now, oh, okay, we are not mining anymore, so I want to take these guys out for the moment because I want to mine more of the area. So maybe we can uh, okay let's use one and one just to be sure that we have iron and silicon in our storage we have already good storage for them uh, but yeah so until uh, everything is working let's take a look close look on the drones okay, so these are basic normal drones We have five miners that are like this. So nice. And we have the third one that I don't know exactly what he, if he will work and we will discover today or tomorrow. Let's see. Until that, let's rush it. How we're doing the power. Just so we have capacity of 16 so okay we don't have enough okay so we have maximum consumption of 41 generate 18 why only 18 discharging these numbers are okay I mean, we have a 41 uh, maximum consumption, balance minus 41, consumes 21, shortage 20. So if I'm consumed 21, why I have a balance of minus 41? Well, that's a start. Hmm. There should be enough smart concrete for the first time. Nice. So now we have concrete two. Okay, journal. Director, we have a message on the emergency channel. I'll put it on the screen. Attention, this is Arthur Moore, commander of the Hope 2 orbital station. The station has sustained severe damage from multiple collisions. We have lost key control modules. 
a hard moon landing will occur in the coming weeks. Request assistance from anyone who hears this message. All crew members are ordered to take shelter in block four. I okay. repeat. Okay, great. Uh, so the voice is pretty good. Over the now. The debris from the meteorite impact must have gotten hope too. We can. I'm already take a look contacting Crust to report it. Moon. Director, my name is Clyde Draper, and I lead the Crust search and rescue operation. We are aware of the situation with Hope 2, and are already developing an evacuation plan. There's still a chance to restore resource mining and production at your facility, and it's in our mutual interest for you to assist us. We need a place to accommodate the rescued crew, and your base is the most suitable candidate for this. Crust will provide you with the necessary equipment and scientific resources to carry out the assigned tasks. Okay, that's uh, that's lovely. So let's see. With all due respect, director, I do not share your doubts. People are in danger, yeah, and if it's right. in our power to help them, we must do so. With all due respect, uh. Alice, altruism has clouded your judgment. Crust is clearly asking for grant aid that we cannot afford right now. I suggest we focus on restoring production and resuming shipments to Earth, where resources are urgently needed right now. Also, I've negotiated a prepayment with FASM. We can use their funds if we start re-establishing the contract system now. But all you care about is profit. If that's the case, think of the technology Crust will provide. It's worth as much as our base in its current state. Do we pay a fair price for their technology? Don't forget, Director, by accepting Crust's offer, we will allow them to decide how our base is developed. We'll have to focus on the construction of the living quarters and postpone the expansion of high-tech manufacturing and investigation of the meteorite case. Crust is going to accommodate the surviving Hope 2 crew members at your base in exchange for equipment and technologies for us to carry out a rescue mission. If you accept Crust's offer, you will lose access to the FASM contract, for which the corporation is willing to pay up front. Okay, so now we can choose uh, a little bit the uh, difficulty of the game. Look at this. Normal difficulty, we will receive uh, 100,000 of credits and access to the contract system. Uh, high difficulty, work in progress. Okay, interesting. So... Okay, so we are going to take the rescue mission. I come at the station crew of my base, and I will not have access to the contract system if I will take this. That will be strange, or they will give me in fact technology here that I will access the contract system because I can research that, right? It's a tech that will open the contract system okay let's take this okay i want high difficulty i don't have a problem with that i think we have uh, good cash and we can manage with that for the moment good choice you need to establish contact with the station assist the commander with the evacuation and then transport the team to your base you should have living quarters suitable for sustaining life by then begin preparations for the construction of the living quarters immediately. It is a complex and resource intensive structure, so maximize and optimize production so you're ready when survivors arrive. In summary, your main tasks are contact the station and ensure the transport of the crew to your base. Construct a residential facility with life support systems. We will send a research plan and transportation for search and rescue operations shortly. Okay, 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 okay. Good, so contact the station, construct the residence facility. That's nice. This is a part of the last demo, so that's... We barely recovered nice. from the explosion. Now our base is just a couple of mining and processing modules. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to save the crew, but it'll be almost impossible in such a short amount of time. We definitely can't do it alone. I will send a request to colleagues and inform you when new information becomes available. 
Indeed. The timing's not ideal. However, we still have the ability to break down the task and move towards our goal with small steps. First, we need to ramp up production. Living quarters will require a lot of resources. We have smelting furnaces, but we need extractors and refineries to extract oxides from mined regolith. We need such. The Crust has handed us the research plan, and we're ready to begin. Research underground mining, and place two extractors on the iron and silicon veins. We received this uh, tool. Yeah, let's see. Pause. Okay, now it's paused. Alright, uh, so we need to research... What? Research underground mining. Underground mining, underground mining, good. And what else? Uh, build, build an extractor on the veins to pieces, connect the extractor to the network. Okay, so what's very important is to have even these conveyors. So next will be the conveyors. Then I want to have uh, this regolith, yes and then geothermal perfect and what are we gonna consume more from here maybe landing platform perfect and on social i need this license for tender system right i told you we can research that and we can have it but probably they were giving the research as free uh, okay so now everything is fine uh how we're doing with the power power it's okay yeah it's okay power it's okay and i think we have enough for this first night right 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 so i i want to build something more this is working okay i don't have conveyor so probably we need to wait the conveyor right so here is the silicone can i build something pretty cheap just to see if i will recover all Yeah, I will recover everything. I mean, look at this. We have 10 concrete and 2 uh, these parts. So 10 and 2. Okay, so we can recover everything. That means if we don't like something in one place, we can move it wherever we want. As, for example, I want to have a miner here and I want to have this uh melting furnace close to it same for the iron so now if i know that i want to make this with dirty okay so just mind that very very fast to have to to, to go in that direction okay, let's see now move Research on fast. okay Take it easy now and yes finally we have this panel with research complete and you will know exactly what you complete you can go even to the research to, to add new ones yeah that's that's a good improvement it's a really really good improvement okay so that would be there we need to drone upgrade oxide mining rate, increase the resource extraction speed or drone mining directly from a vein. Well, I don't care about that. So, um, I think game need to have uh, a different uh, speed on researching and developing because I will not use this drone mining manual mining. So, why is this here? I I think it's useless only if 
in the future we have something more interesting with uh, some resources that we don't have them in the base but if that's the case why is this technology at the beginning of the tech tree so this technology here it's useless i will not use it okay maybe i'm i will mine by hand hand in the code only two minutes and that's it that's it game over i mean game over not game over but that's it uh we need medium solar power panels very very fast automatic repair that would be nice but i can handle for the moment okay so let's see because even that research will not enough power to run okay not enough power i still research don't know complete. and don't understand why i don't have enough power i don't really understand how that grid is working i mean i have six of these and they are generating they can generate 10 so 16 total but they are generating uh charge rate uh oof, this is not correct again don't call it charge rate um i don't know balance make it balance or something like this to say okay it's minus five so they are depleting um, or just rate how oh, well, whatever so we have 60 so normally we are having a maximum consumption of 41 we need to have all the tech all the power necessary for everything we have another research we have conveyors that's lovely and with conveyors we are starting to have more complex uh, complex productions um let's make even the geothermal and now i really want to dismantle this one right yeah let's dismantle this and now let's build uh what first of all a miner a regular miner and let's see if that part with uh, building two per vein is still feasible oh yeah baby it is working Okay, so I can make one in here. I can make one in here. Don't forget that extractors need electricity. Oh, right. Hold down shift to build a chain of utility poles. So, oh, this is not okay. This is not okay because uh, I cannot mine this heavy rock. Only if I research some technologies, but I don't remember exactly where is that yeah, yeah okay, okay okay i don't remember exactly where is that technology Oof, maybe it's a little far away okay if it's far away can we build this can we build this miner down like this Okay, one in here, one in here, and one in here. So yeah, let's let's build it as this. Let's build it as this, and I will say, okay, okay, guys, mine this uh, with uh, no, with priority. Yeah, mine this with priority, please. So make it as this. Uh, make it normal uh, you need to erase it in fact okay not priority just I mean just do it as normal good so we are getting close to end our first uh, run first episode so I know that okay we had a couple of cinematics we start the game with a little slow but if you enjoy this and you want to see more how we are building this uh, uh, this base 
give me a like, share, subscribe, but by just liking the video, I will understand that you enjoy this. And I know that lots of you that you who will come for this series are not subscribers to the channel. So just do it. You will help me to grow this channel in something nice and to create more content. But until then, uh, let's stop here for today. I am Heli and this is The Crust. A beautiful game, automation, and if you enjoy Factorio, uh, Dyson Sphere program, you will enjoy this game too. It will challenge us on some levels that are unique. Until then, see you next time. I'm Ellie and I'm out.